Hi, I'm Charlie Chapman, the indie developer behind the app Dark Noise, and I want to show you real quick the new features that are in the update I just released that's taking advantage of all the new goodies that Apple just gave us in iOS 18. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm on my home screen, and one of the main design philosophies behind Dark Noise has always been about getting you to your sound and getting you back to your life, whether that's sleeping or working. And I've done that with deep integrations with the system, like Siri and widgets and shortcuts. Uh, these are all things that I've really focused a lot on. And this year, Apple gave us a new type of widget, and that's the Control Center widgets. And of course, I've implemented those here. So if I pull down my Control Center, it looks pretty similar to before, but you'll notice there's these icons on the right, and that's because there's actually pages. You can add multiple pages of Control Center. But more interesting than that, if you long press on an empty area, you get into this editor view. And here you can move Control Center uh, buttons around wherever you want, or you can remove ones that you don't use. And even more exciting is there's this Add Control button down here. And when you tap that, you can add any new controls that you want, including ones from third parties, which of course, Dark Noise is ready right out of the gate. So if I tap on that, you'll get this configuration uh, view. And this lets you choose a couple things. The first one's pretty obvious. So this is where you can pick which sound you want to actually play. Let's go ahead and pick uh, this drippy rain. And then uh, there's timer options, just like all the other widgets, where you can have it automatically stop you know, after four hours. And then there's a long fade option, which will slowly fade it out so that um, if you're sleeping or something, it doesn't wake you up whenever the sound, you know, fades out over one second like it does by default. So if we close that, um, you'll now see the icon showing right there. And you can change the size of this. So you can make it a two by two or four by four. Those are all the options that uh, Apple supports right now. And if you tap off of it, now it's sitting there. If I tap it, it starts playing my sound. Tap it again, it stops. Pretty straightforward. I think it's going to be a pretty cool way for people to quickly get their sound going, especially ones that they use pretty frequently. And you can add multiple of these. So I could have, you know, drippy rain, but then I could also have a waterfall sound. And I can easily switch between them. Pretty cool. Now there's one other place that you can add these that I think is gonna be pretty popular, and that is on your lock screen. So you can see I already added one down here. Uh, you can replace what used to be the flashlight or the camera with a control center widget. And uh, this works just like before, except instead of just tapping, you have to long press it so that you don't do it by accident. Uh, this is really great if you use focus mode, so you can have your bedtime focus mode set up a lock screen that has your sound sitting right there on your home screen for quickly turning on and off. I think this is going to be really popular. Um, I'm excited to see what you all do with it. Now, the other thing that iOS gave us this year is a more customizable home screen. So if you long press on your home screen to get in wiggle mode and you hit edit, there's a customize option now. And if you hit that, you can switch all your icons into a dark mode icon. And you can see dark noise supports that right out of the gate. It has this nice purple uh, interior instead of the purple outside. And so it matches with all the other dark uh, system icons. And then there's also a tinted mode where you can pick, you know, a specific color that you want. Um, and I'm providing tinted versions of that as well. Now, Dark Noise has a lot of alternate app icons. It's one of the things people really like about the app. And all of my custom app icons also have dark and tinted modes as well. Uh, you can preview what that looks like by opening the app and going to Settings and App Icons. And here you'll see all the icons just like before, but then now there's this toggle at the top that says Preview Dark Mode. And if you click that, you can see all of them in their dark mode glory. So that's Dark Noise 3.3 uh, for iOS 18. I'm super excited about this. I think Apple gave us some cool ways to make Dark Noise even better. Um, and I'd love to hear what you all think. As always, tell your friends.